Chivalry Radio, it's a Texas 12-pack counting down the top 12 Texas country songs of the week as reported by the Texas Regional Radio Reports. And coming up, the number two song of the week. And uh, we're thinking it's going to be uh, maybe number one next week. But uh, the guy who's holding it right now on the phone with me and will be here in Uvalde County Saturday night, please welcome back to the big show, Mr. John Wolf. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, man. And this is exciting. This is exciting stuff because, you know, we're talking to you. You're going to be here Saturday. Uh, your song currently uh, feels like country music. Title track to your latest record is number two. And, you know, the Texas chart is usually usually what released on Friday, right? So chances are Saturday when you're here in town in Uvalde County and Con Can, you might be celebrating a number one Texas country hit, right? That's right, man. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, we're really excited today. I did. Uh, we're excited to be back out at, in Con Can, and as you know, there's, we're not able to play that many shows nowadays. Yeah. So, um, and I know that you know there, all the details are on our website concerning uh, the CDC guidelines. Everybody uh, is following them to a T. The house pastor's doing a great job, so it is a seated, a seated show. There's tables uh, available, I believe, and um, that's that's really important. But I think as long as we adhere to CDC. Uh, guidelines. Let's listen to some country music. That's what we're trying to do. Absolutely. And I'll, I'll say this firsthand. I've been to a handful of shows this summer and the uh, the folks over at House Pasture, um, man, I'm telling you what, uh, Harper and uh, Candace have been on it. So they've got their staff just kind of really being proactive, uh, very aware. And, you know, normally at a show at House Pasture, it's pretty laid back. There's not a lot of security floating around necessarily, but they do have their staff really on it right now. Uh, you got reserve tables up front. There is some general kind of outdoor um, viewing as well, too. Uh, so you'll have an, an easy time staying distant and, and being safe. And, of course, the drinks are still flowing, man. So it's a good time at House Pasture. And you're going to be out there. Also, Clay Hollis is performing with you, right? He is. You know, Clay's a crazy young guy, a good buddy of mine. Goes, goes, he and I go way back, and I'd say way back probably uh, to when Clay was, you know, 18 years old. So wow. he's, a, he's a young gun, and he's putting out – some great music, and uh, and also I don't know. This is maybe not news to everybody, but we are bringing Juan Lobo Tequila um, out to House Pasture this Saturday. So if um, if folks out there have been curious about my tequila brand, uh, House Pasture is bringing some in, and you'll be able to try out Juan Lobo. There's going to be some drink specials. So we're also excited about that. Man, that is fantastic. Now, I do have a couple of bottles. Uh, I managed to, I think I was the first guy to special order it in here to Uvalde. So it is available here at a couple of places. But, um, but yeah, man, it, it is fantastic stuff. And it's really cool that, yeah, I've seen those. Uh, you got those recipes online on the website, everything, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, uh, I think this weekend we'll have a, there's a special called a Batanga, which is a, uh, a, a little uh, cocktail it's directly from uh, the tequila region of Jalisco. It's going to be pretty cool. And um, I'm personally uh, uh, been drinking a lot of Blanco because it's nice and hot out there. Mm -hmm. it's a nice, light, uh, light tequila drink. So we're excited about that. And, and uh, we're, we're really hoping that Feels Like Country Music goes number one. Uh, we, we believe a lot in this song and, and a lot in this uh, uh, new EP that we have out. So... Uh, we're, we're looking forward to an awesome day in Con Can on Saturday. I think there's going to be a lot to celebrate. And you know what? Gosh darn it, we need it. <laughs> so, I know. Um, hey, now the last time we spoke, you had, you were launching our, uh, our summer concert series at House Pasture. You were one, one of the, you, you were cool enough to kind of get on that show and, and stick with it. Uh, so you were one of our first live shows, I think, for the season, uh, during a really crazy time. So what's been going on in between? Like you said, you know, there's only a limited number of venues and places we can even play, but have you managed to stay busy over the summer? Well, you know, we, um, you know, to, you know, we we we've, we've kind of gone through a lot of ups and downs over the summer, and um, you know, not to be a, a little bit of a downer, but we we did lose somebody really close to us mm. um, to the COVID uh, uh, virus, uh, the coronavirus, and so you know, it's really been kind of a challenging, uh, really challenging summer for us. You know, he he was one of our uh, key guys in our team. And um, so we ended up taking most of, of um, most of Ju uh, June and July um, off, and and really now most of most of August. So 
Um, my wife, Amber, and, which a lot of folks, you know, see her on our socials. We, mm-hmm. Amber and I have, you know, done some traveling and just done our best to make it through this tough time. You know, and I think that that's pretty accurate for most folks out there. And, um, you know, we're, we're definitely um, ch- living the same challenges that everybody else is. You know, and so we've tried to make the most of our most of our summer. Uh, we're about to start working on a new album. On a positive note, we're going to finish up a brand new full length twelve to fourteen song album by the end of the year. Wow! Along with a lot of really cool, uh, it's going to be a multimedia album. So people will be on the lookout for that next year. We're really excited about that. And um, and again, you know, we we're playing the shows that we can for now. And, and we're pretty rusty, so folks that come out on Saturday, you know, they might get a laugh or two if we can't remember our words or remember how to <laughs> remember how to do this thing. So uh, we'll see what happens. Well, man, first of all, you know what? You guys are pros. It's going to be great. And you know what? Uh, the Bellamy brothers were here last weekend. And if those guys, after all these decades, can remember what they're doing, I'm sure you guys will pull it off just fine. But, <laughs> That's right. That's but you know what? <laughs> I got to say this, though. Um, and first of all, um, our condolences, man, uh, on your loss. We're so, so sorry to hear that. But we just want to say thank you so much um, just for, for getting out here and and committing to the to the date and coming out here and, sh- and sharing your art man we love what you do and uh, again a- as dark as times are music makes it just a little bit better man you know so uh so we really appreciate that you're willing to come on out here and uh and do some live music for us so we're, we're looking forward to the show absolutely man i, I appreciate that and, and and i agree man music is is a is something that we all in the music scene bond around whether it's somebody like yourself in radio us in the performance side of things and fans you know this is something that we've we've all bonded over for years you know and so it's a big part of our lives and um you know i you know we we're committed to um putting on putting on the, the safest shows we can right now and um and looking forward to next year. Hopefully this yeah. is going to be behind us and we're all going to get back to those big shows and uh, touring full time again. Well, man, you mentioned uh, doing a little bit of traveling with Amber. Did you man- manage to go anywhere in particular, you know, special or, or fun for the, you know, just a summer getaway at all? Man, we just, we, uh, we just got back from Colorado a couple days ago. Right. So that was definitely um, a little bit of a highlight of the summer and, um, there's time for us to get away, so we we went out and did some hiking in Rocky Mountain National Park, and and uh, did some fly fishing at Amber's first uh, first go at the fly fishing things, and she's already getting better than me. So uh, <laughs> we we had a great time, and I think you know that's been a little bit part of this you know uh, quote pandemic is that we've we've worked a lot on just you know. Uh, being together and uh, for those of you that have followed me over the course of 10 years you probably know i haven't been at been at home that much yeah. we've done a lot of touring so this is you know really a little bit of a blessing in disguise that, that i've been able to be home more but um there, there will come a day pretty soon that i think amber is going to be pushing me out the door ready for me to uh <laughs> <laughs> ready for me to hit the road. Well, last time we spoke, you said you might have put on the quarantine fifteen. I'm kind of wondering if that's yeah. uh, if that's been bumped up bumped up to the COVID nineteen or twenty yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, man? I, you know that's also been something in the past fifteen days. Now, don't you know? Don't don't hold me to this. But in the past fifteen days, I've uh, I'm I've re- uh, getting on a new diet. Oh, okay. And I'm starting I'm starting to trim it back down again, buddy. I'm I probably. I'm probably only got 10, 10, 10 pounds to work on now. So we're wow. we're coming out of the uh, quarantine fifteen, and, and I'm, I might be down to just the quarantine five right now. So we'll see. Very good, man. Very cool. You know, us radio guys, we sit around and talk for a living all day, and we, you know, we're already right. well, it's already hard lifestyle. Um, just kind of <laughs> normally, and man, yeah, it, it's just been multiplied. So I got yeah, I got to work. I gotta work this out, but <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that yeah. I'm glad that you're getting it well, back. I'll tell you, man. You know, we're on the keto thing, <laughs> and uh, Balto Tequila falls under the guidelines of, of keto diet. So, I mean, you can still have some fun and 
and it, you know, I've noticed that this has really been a good thing for me. So, but I've, I've still got my tequila, which I'm excited about. Closest I'm beginning to a keto diet is a taquito. So uh, <laughs> that's, that's about the word it is for me. Well, anyway, man, we're doing the Texas 12 pack again. We've been counting down the top 12 Texas country songs of the week. We're creeping up to number one, but right now John Wolf has the number two song and John's going to be in concert along with Clay Hollis this Saturday, house pastor cattle company in Concan. Now again, uh, safety guidelines in place. Social distancing is going to be in effect. Uh, tickets are on sale at housepasture.com. Get in early and reserve a spot at a table. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of like um, standing room, kind of outdoor uh, viewing, which is, which is also pretty safe, too. So, uh, But yeah, and Juan Lobo Tequila will be on premise with some specials and, and whatnot. So it's going to be a great time. John, I guess let's go ahead and um, give it, I just, just for the sake of the musical part of the, of the interview, I'll uh, give us a little background on Feels Like Country music both the single and the record yeah you know it feels like country music uh, you know it's something that when i go into to record a project um i'm i always like working with uh, sort of a theme you know and so i i felt like it feels like country music was a was as a song um is has been one of the my favorite songs i've ever recorded it's kind of an anthem you know, towards country music, mm-hmm. what, what that means to us. And it also really described the collection of songs. So it was, it was a great title track. It's been an awesome single. We got a video out for it that you can go check out. Um, but really, you know, feels like country music describes, again, what what country music means to me as both a performer and, and a fan. So um, folks that aren't, aren't familiar with... Um, with my music, they can go to uh, a- uh, Apple uh, Apple Music. They can go to iTunes. You can go to Spotify. Uh, download it. Check it out. Check out the whole EP and download the new download the new single. Well, man, it is a fantastic song, and you're right, man. I think it's just it's a great reminder of why we love this genre, you know, and uh, and you're so good at that, you know. Uh, so, man, we're, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the show again. Can I get enough of the John Wolf live uh, experience? Uh, real quick, anything about the band, how they doing, and what do we expect for the show Saturday night? Yeah, man, the band, we're all hanging in there. Um, you know, the, uh, Conrad Soriano was our stage manager and one of my best friends, and you know, Conrad um, uh, passed away uh, not maybe close uh, close to a month ago, and mm-hmm. so this will be our first show back um, wow. without Conrad, and it's a tough thing, but we know that uh, this is what he would want us to do, and um, so yeah, we're going to be all all the guys. We're going to be doing our best to to you know uh, play the best show we can for everybody. And uh, remember, you know, remember why we're there. So it'll be a special night for us. And um, Conrad's family's coming out as well. So um, we encourage everybody to come out, hang out with us, try out some Juan Lobo tequila, and uh, spend the evening with us. Well, I'm sure we'll all raise a glass in his memory as well, too. So, again, thank you guys so much for just getting on out here and uh, getting back on the horse and giving us some live music. We really do appreciate it. And without further ado, I guess I should mention, hey, johnwolf.com, the website. Uh, find him on all the uh, social medias and the uh, digital platforms and whatnot, streaming services, and uh, get that music, get ready for the show Saturday night. Uh, and, again, Clay Hollis to open up the show beforehand. Uh, but let's get into it, man. The number two song of the week. You want to introduce it real quick? Yeah, man. This is uh, my current single, also my title track of my uh, recent EP called Feels Like Country Music. It's John Wolf right here in the Texas 12 Pack on UvaldiRadio.net. If it hits you like the heart of the matter, little slap back. On a sad song getting sadder A little angel Sitting in the shotgun seat That feels like country music to me If there's a rear view That's got you looking back A little steel guitar Bending in the cracks A little hometown Right where you're supposed to be 
Yeah, that feels like country music to me If it's life and it's love and it's freedom Where you been, who you are and where you came from Is the left hand out the window Floating in the breeze That feels like country music to me Paying off a couple cold, cold beers The sleds up on the top All my old friends And my whole family tree Feels like country music to me If it's life, then it's love, then it's freedom Where you been? Turn out the window Floating in the breeze That feels like country music to me The cold hard truth that I've known all along. One of those moments in time that brings you to your knees. That feels like country music to me. That's right, just like country music. 